How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sick Eric Tech. Today, we're going to be talking about something a little bit interesting here. We're going to be talking about LG. Yes, LG is making a new camera sensor that is supposed to be really, really cool. But the question is, who are they making this camera sensor for? So as far as the rumors are going, LG is making a new camera sensor. It's supposed to be a a uh, telephoto camera that is different than your typical periscopic camera that is found in devices such as the uh, Pixel 7 Pro, the Galaxy S22 uh, Ultra, and things like that. This camera sensor is meant to have moving parts in there to adjust for different zoom time capabilities as far as going all the way from four to nine times optical zoom and no digital zoom, which a lot of devices like this right here They'll do some optical zooming in there, but then they'll fill in with digital zoom and that compromises image quality. Well, LG is saying that this with the clean and vivid image quality filming is possible in all magnifications of four through nine times zoom. They're also stating the image quality enhanced through uh, accumulated optical technology and camera bump removed. The LG G8 literally has no camera bump on here. How are they able to? do that like amazing so i think uh eliminating the camera bump is not that hard so as far as that goes optical telephoto zoom camera module software optimized with qualcomm so they're working with qualcomm under snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor to accommodate this module which is pretty cool and my question is who are they doing this for so a little bit about uh, this uh, module, it is a telephoto zoom module, which means you're only going to need just one of them to get different times uh, zoom well, all the way from four times to nine times, which is other phones like this. You're required to have several different camera sensors on the rear to achieve different zoom capabilities on there. This is just one that's going to do that. And that in fact that it is a lot smaller than your typical camera sensor or a typical periscopic camera sensor, which means it's gonna take up less room on the smartphone, therefore creating less of a camera bump and more room for internals. And uh, LG, this is LG Innotech, by the way, they do a lot of parts for a lot of different smartphone manufacturers. And I believe that LG does do displays for other manufacturers like Apple and people like that. But camera sensors, camera sensors are mostly done from people like Sony, even Samsung makes their own camera sensors. If you look on your smartphone, more than likely you're gonna have some sort of Sony IMX camera sensor on there. And then Samsung, obviously they make a lot of their own camera sensors. So displays, LG provides a lot of displays for people as far as Apple and things like that. Google, they provided displays for Google as well. So as far as providing this camera sensor for somebody else, it's it makes sense, yes, but it's not, I don't know, it's just a little shady to me. Uh, this camera sensor is supposed to be unlike any other when it comes to optical tele telephoto zoom. And it's supposed to provide more zoom capability without losing that image quality. So that's pretty cool. And the fact that it's going to be working sort of like a DSLR camera or a, a mirrorless camera as far as zooming in and stuff like that, actually moving the lenses rather than using digital. So I understand what they're doing here and it's pretty cool. But the fact is, who is this for? Could LG be coming out with a new smartphone next year? This is supposed to be announced in January at CES. LG is supposed to be announcing this module and they're saying it's for other smartphone makers so, such as you know OnePlus, Xiaomi, uh, even Apple and Samsung. But what if they use it on one of their upcoming devices? What if LG decides to come back? That is the question here. LG has been on hiatus for over a year. Technically, LG is not out of the smartphone industry. Yes, they decided to stop manufacturing smartphones, but they still got a little department working on software, working on updates for all their current smartphones. So the department is not necessarily fully closed and shut down. They still got people working in there. They're just not manufacturing any smartphones. And LG is a multi-billion dollar company. So I'm pretty sure they're doing okay when it comes out to money. They ain't hurting 
much. So what if this whole, you know, year plus long hiatus gave them time to recoup and they come back just full fresh, no like LG Velvet 2, no LG V70. They just start from scratch and give us a new smartphone with this new camera sensor in there. That would be unbelievable. Now, I'm not here to give you all false hope by any means. Trust me, I'm not here to lie to you. I'm just going by what I think and theories that it could be possible that LG comes back in 2023. It's just the fact that they're making this new camera module for everybody else. Uh, it seems a little shady and we all know LG is known for innovation. They had the whole Angester thing for the LG G8. They had the LG Wing. They had a whole bunch of different modules on their phones and different things like that. LG is known for innovation and for doing weird cookie shit on their smartphones. So what if this means that they've created a new sensor that will give you better optical zoom without losing image quality for a new smartphone that is coming out? next year or that would be awesome so what do you guys think would you like a new smartphone from lg to have this new camera sensor to have excellent zoom capability it might be better than the google pixel 7 pro or the galaxy s22 ultra who knows it is a smaller sensor so i don't know exactly how you know much the megapixels will be and you know if it's any good but the fact is that lg creating this for other manufacturers does seem a little generous, I guess, that uh, maybe they're creating it for a future smartphone. And I just wanted to talk about it. It's cool technology. Uh, this new camera module, you know, is gonna have optical image stabilization and really good zoom capabilities without sacrificing image quality. That sounds promising. Eliminating a camera bump or making it smaller on the rear, that seems promising, but who is this for and who are they making it for? Are they making it for themselves? We do not know. Comment down below what you think LG is up to. I would love to hear your opinions. Like I said, I don't mean to give you all false hope. I'm just speculating here. So speculate down in the comments down below. And like I said, hopefully this is good news. LG coming out with new tech. And hopefully we get a new smartphone from LG. I do not know. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we're all just dreaming here for LG to come back. But LG, ever since they left, people have been pining for them to come back. They've been doing petitions for LG to come back. They've been commenting everywhere, LG, LG, come back. People are still doing videos, including myself, uh, Easy Computer Solutions and Matthews Tech. They're all doing videos on LG still to this day. And I think LG sees all of this, that people are missing their smartphones and maybe they're gonna give us something new. So speculate down below in the comments. Like I said, I just read this shit and I'm just giving my thoughts on it. I'm not, you know, giving you guys false hope. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, which I'm pretty sure you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. I will see you next time. Y'all have a safe and happy New Year's. Peace.